okay the first limitation is fixed size that is arrays are fixed in size assume one example suppose i give invitation to my friends and relatives for my family functions nearly 200 to 250 invitations i i will issue to my friends and relatives and i arrange a vehicle for them to reach the place where the functions are going so i informed all of my friends and relatives regarding this vehicle arrangement so i thought out of this 250 nearly 100 will come i thought then i arranged two bus assume that if only 50 persons will come on the day then what about the situation i arranged bus for 200 persons but only 50 are come on the day so other seats are wasted assume that suppose all the 250 persons are came then what will be the situation it is overloaded so it is not possible to arrange additional 50 seats there immediately so we may arrange but it is not possible to arrange immediately so this same concept is in array so in array suppose i we declare a array with capacity of 10 then we can able to store only 10 data if the data are exceed to 20 then we are not possible to store the data in the same variable suppose the variable that is the data is only very few data one or two then other eight spaces are wasted in our memory so this is the situation in array that is one of the very big limitations of array the second limitation is we can able to store only homogeneous data that is suppose we are create a object for a class employee then we can able to store only the data regarding that object it is not possible to store student object or some other or integer some other float or like like that okay so meaning is suppose we are create a very array variable for integer then we can able to store only integer data if we create an array variable for employee class then we can able to store only employee data so that is another limitations of array the third limitation is it doesn't contain any data structure methods the meaning is um, you studied that stack operation right in data structure so stack is containing different um, methods push pop is empty is full okay so for everything you write your own method right okay using array suppose you are using array for developing this application then you should be used to write your own method for checking the stack is empty or not or check inserting the data push the data or pop the data everything you should be write your own method so these three things are the array limitations so now i said how to overcome these array limitations through collections so in collection first concept is it is growable in nature that is initially we are created with a less number of data then if we need additional spaces then automatically we can increase the size it is possible in collection classes and it can able to store homogeneous data and also heterogeneous data that is we are creating one particular collection class 
in that class i can store integer as the first data float is the second data and character is the third data and double is the fourth data it is possible in the collection classes but it is not possible in the array sessions array structure and then third important point is it have some predefined methods all the collection classes are having the predefined or built in methods okay so because all the collections collection classes it is a class so it has some own method for example if it is a stack class then it has some method like a is empty push pop like that okay so we no need to write our own method we can utilize the existing method so this is the way of overcoming the problems of array into collections okay so in the next sessions we we see the elaborations of the each individual collection classes thank you